Hi, I'm Sean Shivers, uh, owner of the 3D Home in Tempe, and we're going to do a walkthrough. Welcome to my 3D printed house. <laughs> Alright, All right, let's go. Let's take a look. First look inside your new 3D printed home. Yes. Oh, those, yeah, those turned out super nice. Really smooth roll too. Yeah, yeah. smooth roll. Garage door. Oh, that's just. Oh, that turned out super nice. Oh boy. Oh, that turned out nice. I really like that. Yeah. I mean, those turned out really good. I mean, I'm sure the electric company likes that also. Excuse yeah. us, guys. I'm sure I think the electric it looks company. great too to break up the lines a little bit. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, yep. This is our uh, workout room. With our newly donated Cox uh, hydro board. <laughs> oh, the windows turned up. Those windows turned out. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. We've got We're lines. discovering stuff we haven't seen yet. <laughs> Oh, there's a blind in here. I see. Oh, okay. Oh, look, the top one got on also. Mm -hmm. Damn, that turned out really oh, cool. Look at, oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Those weren't in here before. No, those weren't in here. Ah, so, Jared, <laughs> that's what I was talking about, bro. That's what was one of my worries right there. Look at that, how that turned out, dude. God. Yeah, it looks great. I mean, they hid all that pretty. Someone thought I had pretty good. Different, but we'll take it. I think if it was just consistent, every layer is identical, it would look kind of funny. Yeah, right. It would look crazy. No, no, okay. Okay, I understand. Just the. Just the. Look at that. Thank you. You got Okay. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Chris. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Look at those shells. Why don't you walk in? Did anyone want to go on the I didn't see. I didn't see. Here, go look at the back. We shall see. Uh, always on call, right? The kitchen turned out to be kind of wild because he's not living here. Oh, oh, look at the backsplash. Hey, Cox, kind of Cox left a lot of stuff here, so I just threw it all in here. Yeah. Excuse me. That is amazing. Oh, look at that fridge. Really? Is this a nice little, like, spot for <laughs> Ice box. <laughs> nice little ice box. And you don't have to open it all the way either. Flat screen TV. Oh, I just noticed See, you, that. You can just get oh, stuck yeah. in there. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Or you Bread. Okay. <laughs> these have the, um, <laughs> where they... Soft clothes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's it. That caught my eye the first time. Now, they still got to get your door for your oh, this door. trash can. Okay. Yeah, thank you. It's a special okay. door. I was so worried. I was so worried. But, uh, at first, but no. Um, and then all the outlets. All the Do you see this, Jared? Yeah, all the outlets are under here. Put together. We were absolutely so comfortable with that. That's so useful. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? We're so happy the walls stay like this. I don't know. I wouldn't want to put your coffee machine into this. This just got finished last night. Yeah. yeah. This wasn't here Tuesday when we were here. We would come by. Check out the crazy tall ceiling on this 3D printed house. The roof is lofted, so you have so much space in this living room kitchen area. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. The uh, guy that did our cabinets actually made that. He made a TV stand for us, too. Yeah. Where will you put the couch? Um, yeah, it's going to be about right here. We've got this nice little waterfall, Jerry. That's probably going to go right here in the corner there. That sounds really cool.
Chase has turned out really good, man. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Not too bad, it turned out really good. Yeah, it did. Those lights look really efficient too. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was telling Terry we were getting that lead platinum uh, certification. Yeah. I'll have to ask you about the electric bill. <laughs> yeah, uh, Derek's gonna come back. Okay. Um, um, You're always welcome. Yeah, always. He'll just stay with us, which we already said we won't tell you. Stay with us, man. And, We were on you, man. I was on you, man, since uh, the first day when we decided that we would uh, that we were gonna take this, man. And we were like, uh, we looked it up. We saw you that first video, and we were like, yeah. So I subscribed to you, man. I watched all the videos because I was super unsure about how they were gonna put my electricity in there. As you can see, the, the, the chases uh, looked real good, Jared. Yeah. They turned out very good, man. The plumbing. Um, <laughs> But uh, after learning about it and everything and just seeing all the good stuff, the energy efficiency is going to be fantastic. I mean, that thing's fireproof. I mean, it's mold proof. It's waterproof, man. It's it's termite, pretty much termite proof. I mean, we were coming in here. You came here. You were here when it was super hot. Yeah. I mean, once the roof got on, dude, it was about 15 degrees cooler from outside to inside. My cameras were overheating. I had to put them in the car. Can't I'm telling you, I know. Like uh, like you heard me talking about the, uh, the guys from uh, Perry when they first got here. You know, I don't I don't know if you knew this, but they were supposed to get here in, uh, I believe, January, February, and whatever happened for whatever reason, plus it was during COVID time, but for whatever reason, they got here in May, and oh boy, they had a tough time, man. I mean, we, me and my wife would come by and see the struggles that they had, so it was a it was a long road for us, man, a long road, but like I said, we helped out with this thing, so we uh, we know, we knew, that's why we never complained about how long it was taking, because we knew, but uh, as you can see, man, this thing turned out absolutely nice. Seeing it from a rendering on a piece of paper from what someone thought up in their mind and actually having this structure right here now beautiful man we couldn't ask for anything more and the sponsors as you can see in there they went out of their way jared to to make that thing pretty nice yeah, I think so, the quality is really good too a lot of things have a lot of this one. yeah and uh i think maybe it was because of the expansion joint system they used yeah that helped this home uh, have a nice finish yeah we appreciate it man but like i said man we watched you every single video you put out that made me myself feel a lot more comfortable because this is a this is super new man i mean you've seen how it printed prints out in little squeezes of little concrete who knows if this who, who knows how strong this is but after this thing is built now i mean it's a tank bro i mean you you i don't know if you could drive a car through that thing jared um another thing i was worried about was the roof and the uh the actual house we had these gaps in there um, and i was wondering how we would put those together but they put these as you could see these crown moldings up top it came out absolutely fantastic man i mean we the volunteers we butted this house together pretty good brother sounds like you have a construction background um tech background i mean i'm, I'm pretty techy you know what i mean so i uh like i was telling you before i was really worried about how they were going to put this thing together man i mean you see the concrete i mean the, the electricity and the plumbing i mean it's uh when you first came uh did you look at that bathroom in there how they tiled that bathroom in there and covered the plumbing was that not amazing that just, it's just, I mean, they did an amazing job here, man. And, I, and we're, we're super excited. Thank you for coming out, brother. We appreciate you. I'm really grateful that Marcus and Sean Shivers were willing to walk me through their brand new 3D printed house that they just bought through Habitat for Humanity. Hopefully we can check back with them in the future.